Hi, this is your interest rate watch for Tuesday, September the 28th. For the homeowners out there, the, home, the interest rates are opening up better this morning based on the consumer confidence reports that came in weaker than expected. Again, the reason why we're a little bit of the devil's advocate here is because when the consumer confidence report, which is a very important report to the Federal Reserve, if it is showing weaker numbers than previous months, then what it does show is the actions that's coming up in October and November from the Federal Reserve as far as quantitative easing. We've mentioned this a couple times now. What that's going to do is put the pressure on to control deflation. And if they do this, then they're going to announce this. You know, right now, speculation is it originally started off as a trillion, went down to 600 billion. Yesterday reports coming up to two trillion. The numbers are all over the board, but we believe it's going to be a little bit more pulled back, and they're going to slowly roll it out instead of putting a whopping trillion dollars out there. But you never know. Regardless of the fact, it is putting pressure on the Federal Reserve to to take action. And what it is in in mark reaction for the homeowners out there is reducing interest rates. So we are seeing the market open up better this morning. Uh, going into some good news for the housing sector and for, for everyone is that the Case Shillers Index has shown a slight increase and in trying to point in the side of stability. You know, that, that is uh, it's still a very fragile, fragile index. Case Shillers has been known in the past, over the past 18 months, to come out with reports, and then the next report shows that it doesn't support that, that we actually have stabilized. But hopefully, this is some encouraging signs of a positive bottom uh, that we've reached but that is still yet to be uh, proven because again we do have to see this over time but for day for today we're, gonna, we're definitely going to put the word out that rates are improving and if there's any breaking news we will make sure to bring that to you make sure to check it on, check on the economic calendar because thursday and friday this week do bring more volatility as far as economic data some of it coming out positive which could come at the cost of interest rates moving slightly higher we'll talk to you tomorrow